Hey guys, we are here at Arenal National Park and we're about to go in here on a six kilometer hike to explore the area. As you can see behind me is Arenal Volcano. It's 5,358 feet high. We're gonna get in here and have some fun, show you guys some good shots of the area. Let's get going. Arenal Volcano sits in the northwest part of Costa Rica. The park is open seven days a week and costs $15 per person to get inside. But if the view from the parking lot was anything to go by, this place was going to be something special. All right, guys, we are on the trail that leads us to the lava fields over on the west side of the volcano, Arenal Volcano. Um, not a bad hike at all, and we actually picked a great time of the year to come. It is May, uh, which is technically the rainy season. Um, but if you're lucky, you get to have a little bit of that break while it's still not super rainy and it hasn't started yet. Luckily so far, we haven't gotten any, which is nice. Um, so we're gonna make our way down this trail. It's full of dense vegetation. We've already seen quite a bit of wildlife, which is really cool. Um, and we're gonna show you those lava fields. Hopefully also get you a view from above. All right, we are here stopped on the trail at the Sabo tree. This tree is over 400 years old. It actually survived the eruption in 1968, which is really cool. And it's over 30 meters, meters tall. Um, this tree is so massive, it makes me think of the sequoia trees back in California in the States. And it is just huge, hopefully you can tell. Um, it just goes up quite a ways. Getting closer, I think. Guess we've been walking for about 30 minutes? 20, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And as we're getting closer, I can hear what sounds like monkeys. Um, so I hope maybe we get to see some of those and they don't try to steal our stuff. We had an emergency there for a second. The uh, jungle fire alarm was going off. Oh, now that jungle fire alarm is going off. Everybody find your closest exits. <laughs> this is, we're like 20 feet into the trail and we've been greeted by this little fella right here. Hey, he's absolutely gorgeous. Just in here doing his thing. So I hope uh, that's a good sign of what's to come. Walking down this trail, seeing some good wildlife. As you can see, it is uh, dense. So one time in Bolivia, we were ordering some food and uh, the lady asked us if we wanted anything else. And uh, me and Tim at the same time go, Tambien, Tambien. Thinking that we were saying thank you or something, I don't know. So now we just use that in every Central and South American country that we go to. So when you hear us saying Tambien, it's just us being stupid. <laughs> Tom Bien. Tom Bien. We are headed up to the old lava flow at the moment. This is the most treacherous part of the hike so far. Honestly, this has not been a bad, bad hike at all. All right guys, we are here on the west side of Arenal Volcano. We are actually standing in the old lava fields. So let me tell you a little about how this place came to exist as it does today. In 1968, Arenal erupted for over two days covering the entire area up to six square miles and molten lava, ash, rock, debris, some of the rocks weighing up to two tons and moving at a rate of over 1,300 miles per hour were shot in all different directions. The eruption completely buried three villages and decimated the town of Tabacone. The volcanic activity lasted from 1968 to 2010. So it was active that entire town. Arenal is one of the seven most active volcanoes in all of Costa Rica. Now in 2010, it didn't go dormant, it just went into a resting state. So it's still dangerous which is why we are at the limit right here. You can't go any further up the volcano. You're not supposed to anyways. 
because of the uh, potential for it to still go off or have seismic activity. Talk about summing up absolutely beautiful and incredibly dangerous in one shot. Get a little behind the scenes footage here. Got these drones up. And uh, just take a little breather. Just to give you guys a little info, this uh, park is not a hard hike at all. Um, the trail runs six kilometers, um, but it's, it's really not, there's, there aren't any super ups or downs or anything that you need to worry about. Um, there are some spots where you're climbing up a bit coming into the lava field, but it's like steps, so it's really not that big, big of a deal. Um, totally doable park in whatever kind of condition you're in. Um, and a lot of fun with beautiful views, as you can see all around me, especially with this volcano in the background. That's awesome. And this is Austin working really hard. He's a big boy. He does big boy things. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera wars. <laughs> All right guys, so here's a little map just to give you an idea and a quick visual of the area. This shows us being here. We just came from up here where we got this great look out over the lava fields and everything. So we're coming back down the route. Um, we originally came up this way and around past the Seba tree. Um, now we're coming all the way back down and out here and making our way out of the park. It's been a great time here at Arenal. If you visit, you're not gonna regret it. The place is really beautiful. We've had an incredible time here exploring Arenal National Park and the surrounding areas, and we really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video showcasing all of that. We've seen some incredible growth over the last year, and we can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and if you get a chance, share the video with all of your friends. It really helps us grow. Stay safe, have a great week.